To see how subtle this could be, yes. and it is also interest, it is also very important for you people, as people who have been trained and taught, and people who are people, you know, with analytical thinking, to know the difference. Yeah. Now, all of us can gyrate and enjoy ourselves. If that's what you're doing, that's okay. But if you are bringing God to the equation, yes. if you are saying you are worshiping God, you could still be doing the same thing. Yeah. But the difference is this. When the focus becomes one another, yeah. then God takes the back seat. Mm-hmm. So even though you might still be making the same movement and still be dancing as actively or even more actively, but you must be mm-hmm. en- 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 engulfed in God. Yes. You must make sure that your reality yes. and your environment is captured. You are in God. You are yeah. you you must envelop yourself in the presence of God. For example, what do I do? I could be dancing like that too, or moving around, even in the I meet I miss all people and even all that round on it. But in my own spirit mind, yeah. I am before God. Yes. The reality of God is much more real to me than what the people are doing. Yeah. But what happens in church today is that people want to capture your focus. Yeah. Other people like you. Because they are not in the spirit. They are not even seeing this. What was I saying? When I was here, I'm connecting my mind. I'm just teaching you to be able to bring a new culture because it has been corrupted. What most people are doing right now is just enjoying yourself where you have cut yourself off from the throne. But let me say, tell you what I do. The way I do. Even though you might be seeing the same thing, that my, I'm, moving, I'm moving the same way you are moving, but you might not know the connection that I'm having mm-hmm. and what is happening. <coughs> because when I, when you allow people to distract you, mm-hmm. to begin to make movement, to impress others, or to do something, that is all flesh right there. So what is the difference between flesh and worship in the spirit like David did? Yeah. The difference is that when you are, when a music like that is playing, if you understand the word, make sure that you are connecting the word with whatever you are doing. The words of the something. And then you are expressing that to somebody. And you are connecting yourself, not with people around you who are doing whatever. Let them connect any how they want. If there is no connection, you are in the flesh. You must make sure that even while you are doing all that, everybody is doing all that around you, but you are in the tr- For example, I always see the throne of God. Amen. I will, also that I see him around me. Amen. Or I will see, I will see, oh no, practice his presence. Eh? That is a teaching like that I did. Practicing the presence of Jesus. So you will see that just like your uh, shadow is around, you will see that he is also around. So he's the one I'm impressing. But what I see people do these days is that they are impressing each other. Instead of, and they don't even know how to do the connection. So how can you ask people who are in the flesh, who don't even know how to connect with the spirit, and who don't know how to practice the presence of Jesus, to, to they only do what they know. They only impress in the flesh. So it is very important that if you are you call yourself DSA family, people who are bringing a new culture, and who want to uproot corruption in the church, this must be explained. So when, play anything you want to play, Dance, enjoy yourself anyone, anyhow you want to do, but the reality that you feel, the presence of God, the ambience of the Spirit, you alone, not just the atmosphere of, you know, discotheque, but the ambience that you put yourself, 
the closeness of God between you and him must be closer than anything else going on. So what the way to help you to do that is to connect the song, the words of the song, and express that. And to imagine in your own mind and in your in your heart that you are impressive, you are you are an actor only to one audience. And that audience is him and is he should be more real to you than all other things happening around. So now, enjoy yourself. <laughs> uh, but before God, yes. for God, and to God, yes. not to human, yes. not to yourself, but for Him and to Him. Let Him be more real than any other reality. Yes, yes sir. If you don't understand the word of the song, create your own reality. How do you create your own reality? The way you create your own reality is this. Anything you focus on becomes your reality. For example, I might be here sitting down right now. Even you people, I sit sitting here, right? You are standing here right now. Even though I'm talking, as much as you respect me, but some of you are not here. You are flying away two minutes to think about, oh, what happened in the church? Oh, what do I do? You are thinking about different things. That is your reality at that point. So even though I'm talking right now, Frank, for example, is thinking, is thinking something with the computer there. That is his own reality right there. Even though I'm here, and his body is here, he's smiling, but his mind is somewhere else. You see? So where your mind is, is your reality right there. So even though you are doing all this, you don't understand the world, I don't need to understand the world because he is my reality. I make him and I bring him close. And when I bring him close, when I bring him close in my mind, I am seeing his goodness. For example, when I don't understand the word, I'm seeing what I've received this week, and I'm dancing to thank him. Ah, what I received this week, what I received yesterday, what I saw in the church, what I got, what you have ministered to me, where you are taking me, my future. That is how you convert your goose anointing that is here, the goosebumps, and the thing you are feeling, the music, you are converting them to pictures in your mind of the future God that is waiting for you, and you begin to thank you for that. And the thing that, the idea that is going to give you, that is how ideas come, when he is your focus. That is how you, you know, you can turn the, 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 the anointing to, to creative energy, and that's how you could turn it to concrete product. Because you are connected, and your mind is creating at that same time your body is dancing. And your spirit is downloading, your mind is, is to your mind, you know, you know, things, creative things that we will later be able to work on or you can write down. So you are not just enjoying and sweating. So the only profit you've got is feel good, feeling, and sweat. But you'll be able to have ideas coming down, yeah. you know, thoughts, you know, plans, you know, illumination, clarity yeah. into the future, and gratitude for today, for yesterday, and, you know, and, you know instruction for tomorrow. That is why interaction with God will then be depositing something in you and you know yielding fruits and you know bringing forth results, not just gyration and just emotion go and emotion come and go and then you go back to the depression again. But you must be able to bring out a concrete product from that gyration you have done. Don't just be wasting time to be doing what everybody else could do in this hotel. So what is your own superiority over this hotel? The connection with God. Don't ever let your mind lie, I mean, I do when you are dancing. Let your mind project at least love for God, gratitude to God, image of the future, ask questions at the same time, see yourself, you know, bow down before him, you know, see him on the throne, connect yourself and let creativity be happening as well at the same time. That is the difference between even when you see me dancing in the church or any other place or other work place like that, that other than what I see happening in black churches these days and the African churches. People are just all, in fact, they are just addicted by themselves. And then it's, it's just who could impress who the most. And God doesn't even have anything to do with them. Even though it's covered under the name of God. People have not been taught. 
So they just go ahead and cite I mean, and you know, and quote David. And they don't know that David had connection. That's why he lost what was going on. He was connected. He was not paying attention mm -hmm. to all this. That's why he lost his clothes. He didn't even notice it. Mm -hmm. He was connected. But we don't we lose the connection and we're just, you know, exercising the body. And then there is no reward from it. There is no gain. There is no product that you have you have you could come, you could uh, turn that time of praise and worship to. Mm -hmm. So enjoy yourself, but in the presence of God. Let's let's go.
shout out to the Scoop Down. Yeah. Is that side any better? Yeah. 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 Enjoying our live farewell final night of HMC April 2017. Thank you so much for joining us. I have had a fantastic HMT in this April, and I'm sure everyone has. I hope I have been able to bring you some inspiration, some fun, some life from love from here in Ukraine. I do appreciate you. You guys have been wonderful. You've joined me throughout this journey and it's not finished yet. This is just the beginning. I'm now a history maker and next time I hope you will be joining us here in Ukraine. I will hopefully be here and if I'm not here, I still hope that you come because I'm already a history maker because I made it so far. Guys, you've been fantastic. I appreciate you all. Um, I think I have to go now because I need to do another video. Is it not too dark there? I need to do another video. Pardon? Okay, I'm going upstairs, guys. Are you going to follow me? And do a shout out. Shout out by Zoe and Pearl. So if you want to participate or you want to see that, you will see it right now. Guys, you've been wonderful, wonderful. Woo! Should we start a new one? No. Should I start a new one? But it's not going to be live. Because I can't ask people to come back again. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, guys. So there's going to be a shout out right now. So, well done, guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> well done. Okay. Ooh, it's still dark. But it's better than it was last time. No, it's the same. I think, I think it's better than you do it this way. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Here. Sit here and see. Wow. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So who's going first? Oh. Oh, this is Okay, guys. Come here. It's good. Yeah. Looking like this. Yay. Hello. Hello. I'm Zoe, and this is Pro, my sister. You may have seen us in one of our dad's videos about us talking. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Teach you some life. Close. Uh, telling you something we learned from life and from our father, and how we've been raised in upbringing and up brought. And we're so thankful for all of you who have watched us and listened to us, and we just happy, we're just happy to pass on the truths and values that are really important in life to everyone who can hear it. Thank um, you, ah, guys. Sorry. Thank you for watching us, everyone. Um, we're really grateful. Um, I'm Pearl. This is my sister Zoe, and both of us have our dreams and our insecurities and all the things that we've gotten for our life and um, I think that I have a very blessed life that you know I have so much that I don't even deserve that I haven't even lived long enough to deserve but you know Christ is really merciful and he's blessed me with all of this and you know even so even though I have all of this you guys still look up to me and um, my sister and treat us so well and you watch us and are interested in our opinion and you know that's really precious everybody wants that to be listened to and to be respected so it's really really amazing that you guys could give us that so thank you thank you so very much and um thank you to Thank you to Sydney and thank you to Sadie. Thank you for watching us and for liking us and for being interested in us. Um, Cause like, I'm very inspired by you guys too. I kind of tend to think about myself more than anybody else, but you guys are, yeah. <laughs> but you guys are paying so much attention to us, even though um, we didn't really do much for you. We just shared the thoughts. I mean, I just share the thoughts that I have just because of all the blessings I've experienced in my life. So, um, 
Thank you so much. God bless you. Shout out to Sydney and Sadie again. Thank you, ladies. Sydney and Sadie, I met them. Yeah. And they gave you a special shout out. So, yay. That's so, guys, fun. you see, you, you can also do this with your children. If you want to, come over here. We've got Pearl and we've got Zoe. They're always available, always available to help, to support very wise children they are. Thank nice. you. Thank you so much. I'm going back into the that narrow road, downstairs staircase. So, guys, bye. This is it for HMT. I'll be back with you tomorrow, hopefully. So take care. Bye.